The pain of their mother's absence has left Miss Christie's children emotionally numb and disconnected. In order to heal, they must learn how to speak what they feel and find their adult voices. I want to talk to you about that sadness. Can you remember ever not being sad? Well, if it relates to my mom, it would probably go back when she left. Tell me, what part of you is like your mom? When it comes to relationships and everything, I feel like that's probably why I haven't ended up in a better situation than I'm in now, because I've watched my mom's failed relationships. What do you mean, failed? Her decisions in men have never been really good. How do you know? Because I've watched her relationships growing up. And when my mom came back, at that point, we were just entering our teenage phases. So everything that we know or learned or didn't learn was looking at her. What did your mom teach you? Nothing, very little. Don't mean you can't learn it. I had three kids by the time I was 21. I had one at 16, one at 19, one at 21. It was hard. So that I went to college at 29, I went to law school at 33, you know, and I was like 40 before I grew up. <laughs> do you have a dream for yourself? Yes, I have a dream. What do you want to do? Nursing. I knew it. I was, should have said that first. But now I just focus on being there for my girls because... No, 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 no. That's what your mother did. Focus on being there for you and you'll become a demonstration to them. But don't give up your life for your children. Here's what I learned. Children are portable. To get my kids to go to college with me at night, they spend a many a night on the floor outside the classroom. That's the kind of woman you got to grow up in you now.